across. And we are having a swell time on a rise 360. So the Real Housewives of Lagos gave us season one. And it was epic, you know, it was really fun, it was dramatic, it was... It was also a bit chaotic. And just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, the chaos would have ended. Nope, they thought to themselves, listen guys, let's give them season two. And not only do we have a second season, we also have two new housewives. We have Tanya, we have Faith Mori, Tanya Omotayo and Faith Mori joining uh, the rest of the Real Housewives of Lagos cast. Now, it's been six episodes so far, if I'm not mistaken, and it's been, it's been an interesting one. It's just so lovely to see. If you haven't caught up on it, it's available now on Showmax. But for now, here is a little bit of that chaos I was talking about. Drama. Well, is there gonna be drama? No, no, she's extra. The six feet Amazon cream walks in. No, 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 no. <laughs> Where to? Where from? It's only a matter of time before we ruffle some feathers. Guys, Hi, this is my partner. It reminds me of Caroline. Probably tell me how to type. <laughs> How you saying this? Mm -hmm. What are you doing later on? I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> when two or three men are gathered, expect drama. <laughs> Public toilet, keep quiet. Public toilet. Round one. Are you threatening to attack me again? <laughs> Where? Where? Here. Girl, take your raccoon face on. A raccoon? What does that look like? Well, joining me on Arise 360, the creative director, Ziva Lagos, Tania Omotayo. Tania, it's great to have you on the hey, show. Girl. I feel like you have been, you're still giving us like snippets. Mm -hmm. You know, you're still giving <laughs> us snippets. You haven't really just gone full on into the the show but tell mm -hmm. me so far when they reached out to you to mm -hmm. say Tanya we want you to join the Real Housewives of Lagos uh, what was your first reaction to that so I am a huge Housewives fan like <laughs> Housewives of Atlanta is my absolute favorite thing so when I got the call I was like what me <laughs> like why <laughs> you know the but then um, I do really really love the show mm -hmm. um, and I was like oh my god imagine you've watched I went to university in Atlanta mm -hmm. so it's like you've watched the show for how many years and then now you have an opportunity to be on the show even if it's just for that <laughs> you have to do it yeah. and then I mean it's a great platform mm -hmm. um, I have several businesses um, I have a book mm -hmm. I have things to promote and things to talk about so I felt like it made sense like it would help my brand and you know I said let me try it out well of course you know you, can, you there's a popular saying you can't eat your cake and have it so while you are promoting your businesses mm -hmm. your book is about your daughter if I'm not yes. mistaken beautiful piece by the way okay. now there's also the fact that your life is now on full display so mm -hmm. people get to see a side of Tanya mm -hmm. there was something you said in your intro that you know a lot of people just think that you're quiet or you're not mm -hmm. the nicest person but now we're seeing more of your personality um, mm -hmm. in the real housewives of Lagos so so far would you say it's intrusive or it is just what you expected it to be in terms of how much of yourself you put out there and how much people think they know you mm -hmm. um, so I feel like people have never actually known me because I'm not the kind of I don't explain myself like if you say I have three heads I'm gonna be like yeah I do you know that's the kind of person that I am yeah um, especially with like social media and stuff like why would you explain to someone who actually doesn't know you they already have a story in mind mm -hmm. of you know what they think so why explain now with the show <laughs> you know when I did agree to do it I was like you know what this actually gives you an opportunity to show people that you do have like a witty personality and people get to see that now again it is a show um, it's for entertainment, yes. so not everything is as it seems, right? Mm -hmm. But in some episodes, you do get to see the real me. <laughs> okay, now speaking about some episodes, you are with the, the, the... Do you call yourselves housewives or castmates or colleagues or friends? Cast. Cast is mm -hmm. a better way, because mm -hmm. I find calling each other housewives is kind of odd. I don't even consider myself like a housewife. I feel like I'm a wife, you know? Oh, yeah, but like the house part, does, I don't, that, I don't does that, that really, because, you know, <laughs> fans would often say things like, oh, you have, and I know you don't necessarily need to be a housewife mm -hmm. to be on the show, mm -hmm. but I like what you just said about that, the cast. So you're mm -hmm. with the cast a yeah. lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's been, in, you've been in spaces where I would say, <laughs> you, my mom would tell me something about conflict resolution mm -hmm. and she would say catch and listen sometimes you just need to step away from the situation Period. to just de-escalate you know so for you what's your own method when it comes to conflict resolution 
honestly, I have different methods. And I'll explain. <laughs> so I will never, it's not my business. Do you understand? Like mm -hmm. I'm not going to, if you're like really, really close to me, then, you know, I do have to kind of get in there. But <laughs> other than that, it's like, if it has nothing to do with me, I will mind my business. Mm -hmm. But I'm also a little bit petty, you know, and I like drama. I don't like to be in the drama, but mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. I like drama, so I like to watch. I know! To get, like, when I'm driving and people are fighting, I'll be like, you know, like, I want to see what's going to happen at the end. But do I want to be involved? No. no. And the reason I ask this is because I think so far the biggest argument of the season was mm -hmm. the raccoon argument. Yeah. And I was watching your 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 outtakes. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're called? Where you, the diaries. Your diary, mm -hmm. exactly. And you were basically like on, okay, well, this is what she said that was wrong. And this is what she said that was wrong. And in my head, I was like, Tanya, can you just tell us whose side you're on? But I find that you hardly ever just um, pick one. No. In that instance, I was actually on Faith's side, not Marianne, but it wasn't shown. Mm -hmm. So oh. I, we don't have control of the editing and stuff like that. But um, it is a show, mm -hmm. you know, like we film for so many hours. Mm -hmm. So imagine putting 20 hours of footage into a 45 minute show. So many things are not going to make the cut. Absolutely. And you have to, it was such a juicy episode, <laughs> you know, so the raccoon and the name calling was more important than whose side I was on, you know? Mm, I get that. I get so that. So again, I, that's why I always say, you know, you can't just take everything you see and hold it because there's a lot of moving parts and there are a lot of parts that are missing, unfortunately. But there's only 45 minutes or 50 minutes of the there's whole show, only. you know, minus ads and stuff. So, yeah, but um, I didn't like what Miriam did. I, I was not on her side, no. Okay, okay. And I love that you can probably say that. Mm -hmm. So now we're still looking forward to the end of the season. <laughs> And by the time the season ends, yes. you know, Tanya now and mm -hmm. Tanya then, perception is key. Mm -hmm. um, where would you say your mind would be at? Because you've already done all that. So right. we're all just getting it in bits and pieces. But mm -hmm. you know where we're going. We don't know yes. where we're going just yet. Yeah. So by the end of the se season, can you give us an idea of what we can expect from Tanya? This is the, going to sound really funny, <laughs> but I have no idea because I don't know what's going to make the cut. Mm, I, I don't that. know how it's going to come out because I watch it the way you watch it. Mm -hmm, you know, we don't mm -hmm. get to see it beforehand. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I know, know what I filmed, mm -hmm. but sometimes I watch the show and I'm like, what? How? <laughs> you know? But um, yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to find out the way you're going to find out. So we're all going to be finding out at the same time. All right. Well, kudos <laughs> on your conflict resolution skills. It's 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 lovely how you manage to de-escalate, mm -hmm. but at the same time make your point known. Yeah. I have to give you kudos for that. It takes a lot of like emotional intelligence to be able to manage that. So well done, Tanya. Thank you. Well done as well on all the personal businesses that you've been Thank onto, Ziva Lagos. So and much. I think the last time we had any encounter with Rise was during Fashion Week. Yes. So hopefully next year we have a swell one as well. We can't, I wait, can't wait to see what we put together. <laughs> and thank you for joining me on Rise Three Hundred and Sixty. Thank you for having me. This was great. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah.